Excuse me, my question to you is the connection with the housing loan and all that is given to uh, people by the banks. Could you please tell what is the system under the Islamic law, under the Islamic banking, which helps people to obtain at least a shelter for themselves? That was the question. That suppose a person, he wants to buy a house. And if he wants a loan, how does the modern bank differ in giving loan for housing as compared to the Islamic bank? The main difference is that in the modern bank, suppose you want a loan for buying a house, but naturally you should have a particular percentage. It may be 25% or 50% of that house or 40%, whatever the bank has rules, you have to pay off that house. 25%, 40%, or 50% of that house, initially you have to pay. The remaining balance, 75% or 60% or 50%, it's paid by the bank. And suppose the house costs for 3 lakhs, or it costs for 4 lakhs. The initial 1 lakh you paid, the remaining 3 lakh is paid by the modern bank. And say you want a time period of 5 years. So the modern bank take into account that 3 lakh loan has been taken from the modern bank you'll be repaying it in three years time and the interest rate for three years is calculated whatever the amount will be it may be 40,000 or 50,000 rupees so it calculates the initial loan it has given you plus the interest say the interest is about 50,000 so the 3 lakh loan and 50,000 interest is paid in a period of three years 3,50,000 is paid in installments. This 3,50,000 is divided by the number of months. That is 36 months. So every month you pay an installment of say somewhere around close 10,000 rupees. 9,500, whatever it is. You pay. So the system of the modern bank is based on interest. The amount it has given you loan and the time period you take, the loan plus interest is the installments you pay. But naturally, since it involves riba, it involves interest, it is haram in Islam. The system of the Islamic banking is different. There are various different types of systems. The loan that you take from the Islamic bank, there are various ways in which you can take loans. Different banks have got different schemes. Some banks have the scheme that suppose you pay part. Again, you have to pay 25% or 40% or 50% of the initial amount of that flat. Out of 4 lakh, you pay 1 lakh. The remaining 3 lakh is given to you by the Islamic bank. Now the Islamic bank calculates that what is the average monthly rent of that house. Say, it may be about 15,000 per month. Since you have paid 25% of the initial amount of that house, and 75% is paid by the Islamic bank, the rent is divided. 25% of the rent you don't pay, the remaining 75% you pay. Whatever the amount comes to, every month. Since 75% of the house has been financed by the Islamic bank, 25% by you. So here, you calculate the rent. And at the end of three years, they see to it, that suppose they want a particular profit. So the Islamic bank says, I want a profit of about 40,000 rupees. I want a profit of 30,000 rupees at the end of three months. So three lakhs they have given to you. Plus the 30,000 is added as profit. The 3.3 lakh is divided in the 36 months as installments. But here, it is not calculated on interest, it is calculated on profit. And every month you're paying rent. Every month you're paying rent of that house. That's one of the ways of taking loans. For example, if you go in the Alamin Bank, they have an Ashiana scheme, housing scheme, where you must, suppose you say that after four years I'm going to get married, after three years I'm going to get married. They encourage you to start saving from now. So every month you can deposit either 1,000 rupees, 2,000 rupees or 3,000 rupees of that amount in the Alamin Bank. It goes in the Ashiana scheme. And whatever you deposit, it is invested in the Mudaraba system and you get profit on that. So at the end of three years, every year you keep on depositing 3,000 rupees, whatever it is. At the end of three years, it becomes three multiplied by 36. It becomes more than one lakh rupees. One lakh eight thousand and plus the profit. With the profit, it comes to one lakh twenty-five thousand or one lakh fifty thousand. So now, the remaining one and a half lakh is given to you by the Alamin Bank. 
on the same basis, which is based on the rent. It's based on profit, it's not based on interest. So anything we deal with interest is haram. Anything we deal with profit and loss is allowed. Hope that answers the question.